Hey, what's going on? Dodgers Nation, Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. I've got an interview coming up with Diego Card. Ty, we're going to talk about his future, the role he could have for this team, how high is his ceiling. But first, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel for all latest Dodgers news all season long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I'm with your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. On a scale of 1 to 10, how high are you on Dodgers top prospect Diego Cartaya? Let me know down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So today we're talking about Dodgers top prospect Diego Cartaya. This six foot three, two hundred and twenty pound catcher is currently ranked 14th on MLB Pipeline's top 100 prospect list, and the Venezuelan-born catcher continues to emerge. In 2021, at age 19 in Low A, he played in just 31 games before a hamstring injury ended his season, but he definitely made the most of his month of action, crushing 10 bombs with a one. 2023 OPS and a 158 WRC plus. In 2022, Cartaya starred in low A and he continued to match, posting a 955 OPS with nine home runs, nine doubles, a triple, and driving in 31 runs in 163 plate appearances. He then was promoted to high A, where he owned an 855 OPS, hit 13 home runs, had 13 doubles, and 282 plate appearances. You saw that BABIP drop, so that's one of the reasons why his batting average fell down to 251. But 63 free passes in 95 games, and even though that OPS was down, the walk rate jumped up to 14%, and his strikeout rate dropped to 27%. So his at-bat quality improved tremendously last year. He hits for power. He punishes fastballs. If you look at his exit velocities, they're well above average. Now defensively, he has a plus arm and continue continues to improve behind the plate as a receiver he told me a few months ago he's working hard to improve at blocking balls in the dirt that's definitely a point of emphasis for Cartaya he's also making strides as a game caller and that skill is going to come as he continues to develop and continues to get experience he's working alongside this Dodgers coaching and development staff I talked to Austin Barnes who's also helping him improve that aspect of his game now some scouts assert that his size stands and he had six foot three, 220 pounds, limits his mobility and quickness as a backstop. And Keith Law of the Athletic wrote that Cartaya catches the ball too close to his chest, which impacts his ability to throw out runners. Base stealers have stolen 80% of bases off of him. But I think it's just about experience for Cartaya. He's still a little green, a little raw. And as he continues to work with the higher levels in this minor league system, he's going to continue to develop and get better at as a catcher. Now, to me, the biggest key in Cartaya's growth and development is his health. If he stays healthy, he's able to stay on the field and get that much-needed experience. And he has been banged up early in his career, which has led him to playing just 95 games at the catcher position since the start of the 2021 season. So, to me, that's what it all boils down to with Cartaya. If he stays healthy, he gets that experience and I think he reaches his potential. And the bottom line is his plus power is what makes him special his hit tool his ability to rake and mash fastballs and hit breaking balls he lifts the ball he pulls the ball now you want to see him continue to improve his contact rates that have sit below 70 percent but as a hitter as a power hitter he has the potential to be special Cartaya has that hitting ability that you just can't teach he has that prodigious power he also has the ability to get his barrel on the ball it's so impressive such a thing to marvel at when you see him at his best and he's just 21 years old so I think he has a tremendously high ceiling I think that he could be a multi-time all-star in the show and I believe in this kid but I recently caught up with Cartaya from inside the Dodgers clubhouse and here was our conversation what up Dodgers Nation D-Mag here and I'm here with the Dodgers Tom prospect my guy Mr. Diego Cartaya how you doing Diego I'm good how are you guys I'm doing great, man. Hey, now we're in the swing of things. Now we're in the mix during spring training. How are you feeling so far? I feel good. Body feels great. Can't complain. 
Yeah, and Doc, so the other day, you're going to get some more opportunities with Will Smith, Austin Barnes competing in the WBC. How important is that for you to get those reps? I'm excited. I just want to play, have fun, and be around all these great players. Yeah, as far as how you're feeling at the plate, how's that swing feeling right now? I'm getting my time. Uh, I feel better. Every at bat, I feel a little bit better, so it's, it's going to get there. Yeah, and just kind of being around all these veterans. I mean, last year you had a little bit of action spring training. How different is it this year, really just fully being in the mix and being around all these veterans? Well, last year I didn't have, like, a lot of time here, but um, now being around there more, I feel more comfortable playing and all that, sharing time with them. Yeah, as far as improvements go defensively, is there anything you're focusing on? Um, right now, nothing specific. I just try and get my rhythm back, um, feel comfortable catching and hitting so far. Yeah, and you told me a few months ago that the biggest key for you this season was staying healthy. How are you feeling physically, and kind of what's the biggest key to you staying healthy this entire year? Uh, body feels great. Just try and spend more time in the weight room, uh, try and get more stretch and all that. But um, body feels great, and I'm, I'm glad I feel good. Yeah, I just kind of get your opinions, too, on some of these pitchers out there, some of these younger guys. Anyone stood out so far? Any of your big takeaways from anyone you've caught? Uh, well, I only caught once, but um, Gavin through yesterday, he looked really good. I think, like, weather wasn't the yeah, best, yeah, yeah. but, like, he looked great. Yeah, and then so also, too, I mean, Doc told me that he's bullish on you. He thinks that you're going to be a star. He's very high on you. What does that mean to really have the support from Dave Roberts like that? Uh, it means a lot, you know, um, getting his support, it feels, it feels amazing. So I'm trying to just give my work and uh, keep being me. Yeah, and then I talked to Will Smith, and he told me about kind of shadowing some of these catchers when he was coming up, how big that was for him, how much he learned. Is there anything you've taken away from playing alongside Austin Barnes and Will Smith and those type of guys? I'm um, just looking at them, watching their routine, like how they go through things. Like, I think it's, it helps a lot. Yeah, and kind of one thing I'm always fascinated with is game calling. What do you think is the biggest key for catchers to really develop that skill? Um, I think using the research, like using true media, get to know your pitcher, like have like conversation with them. So that way, like when you guys are out there, you feel comfortable and that's that's the biggest key. All right. So you know, I always have to get you out on some fun stuff. You're going on a road trip. You can pick two of your teammates. Who are you picking? I think I can guess one of them, but who are you picking, Diego? I'm picking Vargas and got to be here, like here or any Dodger, Dodger hey, player. Let's do any Dodger. Any Dodger? I think I'll go with uh, Leonor. Nice. Okay, so you guys stopped at a gas station. What's your favorite gas station snack? Uh, what's that? So so South Pass? South yeah, Pat? South Pat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my so favorite. And who's controlling the music? Is it going to be you or Miguel? All right, me, because Miguel, like, he goes, he goes heavy on everything. He goes heavy? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, well, there he is, Dodgers Nation. You asked for him. Here he is, Dodgers top prospect, future superstar, Mr. Diego Cartaya. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate the time. Thank you, guys. Have a great yeah, season. All right, man, check me later.